Oh, g'day guys, it's Sam here from Bill and Bought, and on this episode of Tech Tip and Jack Tip Tuesday, we have a product that I have never heard or seen of before, but I tell you what, it could be a game changer in this industry. It's called the All Terrain Vice. Yeah, that's right. So the all-terrain vice. Now this is a product that actually got sent to me. I'm talking like probably like over a year ago. So sorry if that was you and I'm only getting to it now, but um, I just didn't really have an opportunity or the right sort of moment to use it, but now I think is appropriate. So I just put it on the ground where you can't see it. <laughs> Stupid. Ignore the missing light. I'm just doing some changes there. but. The all-terrain vice. Now, pretty self-explanatory. It's a vice which everyone has at home in their shed. Now that you can take one with you. How many times have you been on the road trying to repair something, chop some wood, sharpen your chainsaw, and you got nowhere to hold the bloody thing? You get your mates to lean on this with your knee or grab this or hold this. Mate, this thing's got you covered. And you just throw it in your drawer with your recovery gear. Don't know it's there until you need it. I tell you what, it's bloody amazing to use, which is impossible because it's still in the box and I've actually never used it. So let's just let's just open it up and see what we got. Okay, let's first get the thing unboxed. Oh. oh, did it without cutting my fingers. Like I said, I've had this thing for a very, very long time sitting in my office and uh, I've just wanted to open it, but I've re restrained myself. I've just managed to not do it until the time was, well, right, because I wanted to get the unboxing. So I have no idea what's inside here, but I've been excited for this moment because... Here we go, all right. Instructions, don't need that. So pretty chunky. We've got our, our uh, Reese Hitch pin, so we need that. So clearly, if I haven't worked out already, an all-terrain device for being in the bush means that it goes in your research or packaging. Now this, I'll explain later, I don't know what that is. And here it is. So, Reese Hitch Vice. First impressions, it's solid. It's, it's pretty well built, I can feel that. It's heavy, it's solid, and um, there you have it. So, I guess, First things first, put it straight into the hitch. So that just slides in there. You put your pin through and most people with four drives these days, let's be honest, you're gonna have a reese hitch. You're gonna have a spot to put a recovery point. So you just slide that D-shackle out, put one of these in and um, bang, bang, there you go. So that piece I was mentioning to you just before, which is this, what that is, is so you can use this in your workshop at home. So you bolt this to your bench and then basically, once that's bolted down to your bench, you can literally slide this in and use it at home. That is a bloody good idea, I tell you what. I might do the exact same thing, because I've got a pissy little crappy vice in my workshop, and all I've got to do is bolt that to the table, and then when I'm using it in the shop, all I've got to do is slide it out to take it with me, and then when I get home, put it back in, and I have the vice everywhere I go with me. So, well, let's get it in the car and have a look. So I guess then the question is where and when would you actually use this thing? You can see here, I've put it on where the reese hitch goes, so nice and solid, and it basically works like a normal vice. So it's got two different holders, chucks here, so you've got your normal flat edge, and then inside, there's sort of a, um, it's kind of like jaws in here, rounded jaws, so you can put something round in, like, that's round. Jordan, get back here. Bloody dog. So an example for me, I'd say, would be, I'll use this as a pretend piece of, uh, the vehicle, so if you've got a, a, an arm or something out of your car you need to fix, boom. Nice solid holder, or even a piece of wood like this that you want to cut, hacksaw, chop up. Like I mentioned earlier, sharpening a chainsaw, you whack it on there. Um, there's so many different uses for it. So, right, so that's pretty much a wrap for this Technical Tech Tip Tech and Tech Tuesday. And um, if you enjoyed, thumbs up. I'll see you in the next episode, guys. Um, as always, if you've got a product, or any technique of building that you want to, like me to discuss and teach you about, then um, drop a comment down below and I'll try and cover it for you or test out a product and um, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take it easy, peace. I've just spent three months doing engine upgrades on my motor here and I've been told I'm not allowed to turn the key until you press subscribe.
please press subscribe.